it going? It's Clary here. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, yes, this video, I'm so excited for this video. And it's finally time that I can do my updated pre-orders list. Yay! I love doing pre-orders lists. It's like, it's literally like looking through all the tasty little treats that you're gonna get for the year. So yes, there's a lot of exciting things. So about my previous pre-orders list, I'm gonna leave a link above, but I do bear in mind this was my first video and I've come a long way since then. <laughs> but there were a couple of figures on that list that have been cancelled. Uh, some of them I got, some of them I cancelled, and then there have been some surprises along the way. So just a quick summary, there were three figures I have cancelled and I got an extra eight figures uh, from my pre-orders list and then eight of the other figures that were on the pre-orders list I've done in unboxings uh, in my channel so you're welcome to go check those out. So I'm not sure how much of a success rate pre-order wishlist videos have but who cares, they're really fun to make and everyone loves a good pre-orders list so YOLO. Starting off with July, we're actually starting off with a delayed figure and that is Maris Marisatomi by My Ethos. She's from Kakiguri XX and she's a 1 cent scale figure. She costs 12,590 yen, which I just think is a complete and utter steal for how beautiful this figure is, how elaborate the design is. It's such a good price. Like, oh my gosh, there was some criticism on MSC about the face and I just don't understand it because I think her price is so good and I think from the images that have been shown so far of this figure, she looks killer. For August, I have technically three figures. Two are pre-orders on AmiAmi and one is a Solaris Japan order, which I will be selling the surface. So technically she won't come in that month, but I have already paid for her, so I'm definitely getting her. So to start with the surface or Solaris figure, that is Teresa from Hong Kai Impact Third, and she is the Starlet Astrologos Orchids Night version. Oh my gosh, that is such a mouthful. She's a 1 7 figure and she's by Hobby Max. She'll be my first Hobby Max figure. I'm so excited. Um, and she's just stunning. She's just absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to put her with some of my My Ethos figures. I can't wait. She's going to look fantastic. The other two figures I have coming out that month one is Lady Sunade from Naruto. Uh, she's part of the Naruto Gals line from Mega House and she is in fact a re-release. So she's a 1 7 scale figure and she's going to cost me 16,290 yen, which I think is pretty good. Um, I'm not complaining there and I can't wait to add her to my collection as Lady Sonade is one of my favourite Naruto girls. And lastly, but not least, I kind of got into collecting Arknight's figure, which is due to a certain my ethos figure that's coming out. This figure is Arknight's Hoshigama. She's the Wanderer banner. So I think that uh, relates to her skin in the game because she comes from Arknight's, which is a phone game. And she's a 1 7 scale figure by Furio. I'm actually really excited for this figure. I think she's quite expensive. Uh, she costs 26,180 yen, but her design looks fantastic. And I have to say up until now, I've been Impressed, but also not impressed with Furu. There seems to be a repeat going on in September where I have another Arknights figure and another Naruto figure. So I have an Arknights figure by my ethos, and this is what kickstarted the whole Arknights collection. It's Suta. Oh my gosh, the design of this figure looks fantastic. It's a 1 7 scale figure by my ethos, and her cost was 16,400 yen. I mean, for this design, I honestly can't believe it. It's so rare now to see figures for under 20,000 yen. So yeah, I'm super excited for this figure and she's going to be something really special in my collection. For the Naruto figure, we actually have Naruto himself in his Izumaki Senin mode, uh, which is kind of his stage mode, I think. Um, well, that's how I associate it anyways. And unfortunately he's a 1 8 scale, I would have loved him to be a, a 1 7 scale, but I'll take any husbandos because I'm definitely lacking them in my collection. And this is a 1 8 scale figure by Mega House for 15,180 yen. Ooh. 
and yeah i think that price is fair he is a re-release figure which i'm so happy that mega house are doing re-releases on the naruto figures given i arrived to naruto quite late so i'm definitely jumping on the boat for this and i'm super excited for that the final figure i have coming in this month is a figure i've already paid for on tokyo otaku road and this figure is going to be sent surface and that is the Darling in the Frank 02 uniform version figure. She's a one segment scale figure by Aniplex. I have to be honest, I have two figures pre-ordered with Aniplex. Overall, I'm not sure I'm convinced by their quality, but I this is a re-release, this figure, and the design looks fantastic. The original figure was super inflated in the aftermarket, and I feel super excited to get the opportunity to own her. So I definitely jumped on the chance to purchase her so yeah she's going to cost me 23,030 yen and I'm again going to send her service so she won't be actually being unboxed in this month. Moving on to October this is where things start to get spenny and I am reserving the right to potentially cancel this figure but ideally I won't have to we will see so I only have one figure for October but it's an incredibly expensive one, so hence why there's only one figure. And that is the On My OG Sen Hime figure by Annie Master. And it's a quarter scale figure. Oh my gosh, it's so, so beautiful. But it's so expensive. It's going to cost me 70,400 yen. Moving on to November, I have two figures coming in. And again, there might be one I might cancel, not because I don't want to buy her, but just because um, it's Asana Goddess Stacia version by Good Small Company, she's a 1 7 scale figure and her price is 23,100 yen, which I think is kind of expensive. And I've noticed that a lot of SEO thing figures seem to go down in price in the aftermarket. So I'm thinking I might cancel this and try and hunt her down. Uh, pre-owned for a slightly lowered price. The other figure is a figure I'm so excited for and I've been watching this since the grayscale release and that is the My Hero Academia Toga figure by Spiritale. She's this one cent scale figure and oh my gosh this figure is so beautiful. She is my favourite character from My Hero Academia and her design is just perfect. They got everything perfect on her so I had to pick this figure up. Her price is 27,500, which is quite expensive, I think, given she's like a one seven scale figure. I think this is really pricey. Spiritel's prices in particular seem to be quite inflated, especially as they're a new company, but the design is super ambitious. So I'm gonna have to buy the bullet on this one and test out Spiritel and see what that quality is like. I have to be honest for December, I'm really hoping for a delay because I've got two quite expensive figures coming out and both of them I am so excited for. So I'm really hoping one maybe gets delayed six months, might just, you know, help Willow Coon a little bit. That'll be really appreciated, but we'll see. And to start off with a complete showstopper is I've made a pre-order for Naruto Girls, the DX version of Sakura, which is a one seven scale figure by Mega House. I had to get this figure because um, I got my partner the Hinata figure and she's just stunning. She's so well made and I love Sakura as a character. She's just great. She just grows on you every series that you watch from Naruto. So when I saw this design, I was like, yep, I'm getting her. She's going to be the showstopper on my pink waifu shelf. I can't wait. And she's a 1 7 scale figure by Mega House and her price is 30,800 yen. So she's really quite expensive. And then on top of that, I have another expensive figure for December because you know, it's not like I had to buy all my family Christmas presents and everything. <laughs> um, but the other figure I have coming out will be on my OG Shiranui figure, which is my most anticipated figure of the year. So I definitely can't cancel her either. So I'm just gonna have to make some sacrifices, maybe be super frugal, uh, over autumn period, we'll see. 
and this figure is a one cent scale figure by Wingsync. There are actually two Shirinui figures out there, but I just had to have this one. This was the one for me. My heart was sold on it. It is the more expensive one, so if you want a cheaper Shirinui figure, there is another one out there. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, but this figure is going for 26,120 yen on Ami Ami, and that's where I've ordered her because I might consider getting her on Taobao, but she's so fragile and some of the boxes that I get from China I get a bit bashed up. I'd be so scared her fans would break. So I'm going with Ami Ami. Worst case scenario, I have to send a surface. We'll see. But yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to have this figure. Oh, I already have a spot for her and I just, oh, she's so pretty. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and enjoy going through all my like figure pre-orders, I feel super happy now of being like, oh yeah, it's like Christmas every month, <laughs> except it's not because it costs my, my wallet money, hmm. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I would love to hear in the comments below if you have any pre-orders that you're super looking forward to. What's your most anticipated figure for the rest of the year? I'd be curious to hear. All right, see you guys next week. Bye.